Hello. Um, so I said I would do a Q&A. So I took some of your guys' questions that you asked me. Unfortunately, I can't get to all of them. Otherwise, I will make a very boring, very long um, video. So I just took a, a lot of the ones... I took a lot of the ones that uh, you guys asked quite a few times, um, and so I'll get to those now. Uh, okay, uh, okay. so I'll start with this one. Um, you guys, a lot of you asked me um, if I have a record deal, and the answer is no. I didn't get signed from The Voice from Universal. Um, so I am still an independent artist, which is cool. Um, it gives me a lot of options as to what I can do with with the time given to me now. Um, getting signed is definitely a part of the, the plan for me eventually, but right now it's just about becoming a really good musician, writing a lot of songs, doing a lot of shows. It's not really about the um, hype or whatever because, you know, if you don't, if you don't have a good body of work and, and good music to back it up, like, you know, uh, there's no point. And so I just, I've been trying to work on make some good art and uh, finish up an EP that I've been writing um, that is going to be released somewhere around the date of uh, July 11th. So pretty soon here, less than a month out. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. And hopefully I'll have that up on iTunes and, and for sale and all that. Um, so yeah, um, it's just going to be independently done uh, by some really good friends of mine that have volunteered to help me record and release it. Um, and then after that, uh, after I get back from my tour, which I'll talk about a little bit, but after I get back from my tour, I want to record a full-length album that's going to be a little bit more produced. This one's going to be a little bit more... Um, like, it has an airy, dreamy sound to a lot of the guitars and vocals, but I want to uh, come out with, like, a full um, album. But I think I'm going to do, like, a Kickstarter for that and, and try and get a little bit more money so that it can be a bigger sound. But, yeah, so, music in a month, which is cool. Um, before that, I have, I have some shows coming up, so I've been practicing a lot for those and, and doing them with a band. Um, so, yeah, and a lot of people ask me if I'm coming out with an album. But I'm going to do the whole uh, EP route because it's just a lot of songs that have been kind of traveling with me for the past year or so. And some of them are a little bit older than that that I just never released because, you know, music was never really in the cards for me. So I just never thought that that would be necessary. Um, but yeah, so there's that. That's the thing. Um, a lot of people ask me if I cut my hair myself and I did. Um, since I was about 12 years old, I've just been cutting my hair off, and I don't know why I do it, but it was summertime, so I felt the need to just chop it off. I don't know. It was getting a little awkward looking anyways growing out. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about show dates and tour dates and that kind of stuff, and, um, lindsaypaveo.com is like my website and I'm going to have a blog up and a tour date schedule and it's got like my Twitter feed, my Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff but it's a little bit in construction right now because I've never really made a, a website before. I don't know how to design it but um, I'm learning and uh, so that'll be up probably sometime next week. So just just look at lindsaypaveo.com next week and I'll, I'll have all the tour dates up and um, you know, we're just going to be going up the Northwest, uh, for this one. It's a pretty short one. It's just going to be about two weeks, but it's going to be really cool touring with some cool, um, other singer songwriters that I'll, I'll tell you about, um, soon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, for now it's just Northwest and a lot of people have been asking me when I'm going to come to other places like, you know, Florida or you know, New York or Texas. And The truth is I would love to do a national tour as soon as possible. Um, again, I'm not signed, so uh, the whole financing organization of that takes a little bit more time, but I would love to just go out and do like a living room tour and like have, you know, local fans host uh, like shows in their living room and I, I think that would be great and it's something I would totally love to do because for me it's more about having a human connection like sorry my mom's 
cutting cutting vegetables in there. <laughs> I've been doing some some catch up family time in the past couple weeks as well. Um, but for me, um, more than big venues or anything like that, it's sharing art um, with people and having a true authentic connection like that. The whole sharing of energy between audience and artist and and back and forth uh, is the most gratifying thing for me. Like the the people, all you people who, um, you, you guys who, uh, tweet me and talk to me online, that's just amazing. And I'm just so proud and happy that you guys appreciate what I do. And that's what motivates me to keep, um, playing music. So, um, yeah, as soon as possible, I will be out there on the road. Cause that's where I want to be. Um, it's just with you guys playing music and, uh, jumping around and stuff. Um, uh, someone asked a really interesting question. They asked me what I was doing this time last year. And the truth is that this time last year, I was taking five classes. I was working two jobs. I was a, uh, I worked at a coffee shop in the morning and a bar at night. So I was working like all day shifts and I was a zombie and I was very, very unhappy with the direction that things were going in. And, uh, it's such a stark contrast from what it is now because I do have a lot of work to do. I mean, I've never done a website. I've never done a tour. Um, all kinds of stuff like it's it's just it's relearning what it is that I that I have to do on a day to day um but yeah it's just it's interesting to look back and I couldn't be happier that I'm where I'm at um a lot of people have asked me how has uh the whole experience of uh being on the voice changed me and um The biggest thing that The Voice did for me through, you know, the random events that, that, that got me at that open call in San Francisco is that I have spent my life kind of doubting that this is even possible for people to do, to just, um, you know, make it in this business. And, and I always really enjoyed singing, and I it was what made me happy and it was what made me feel alive was, was writing music and performing and sharing that experience with people. Um, but going to that open call and someone else saying, you know, someone outside of my world and my life saying that they appreciated what I had and they wanted, uh, you know, uh, to cast me. It was just crazy. And, uh, it was really like, uh, what's the word? It was an affirmation for me. And, uh, it just kind of changed my whole perspective on my life and what I was capable of. And so if there was something takeaway that I would, I would tell people, you know, who, who have dreams, whatever it is, is that if you really, really want that thing, if it's art or if it's the certain career or school, um, just to work really, really hard and just believe in yourself, no matter what anybody says or, or what anyone says is possible because it is like, I lived it and it's great. And you just kind of have to. And the other thing is you do have to make sacrifices for that thing. And you have to work very hard for that. I completely let go of my entire life to be on this show. And, you know, if I would have hesitated for a minute, I probably wouldn't have been on it. Um, so just to work really hard because there are countless people that are super talented at things that just don't go for it. And it's sad. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It changed me. It, um, it gave me my life back because I, I kind of lost it for a while there and I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So I don't know what I would be doing if I hadn't been given this opportunity. And as much as I wish I just would have stepped out on my own and done this a lot earlier in my life, um, it makes me that much more grateful that this did happen at this point. And now I get to make music for a living. And uh, um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the questions there just because uh, I don't want to make this too long and tedious. And I already feel like I've talked for a really long time. So um, thank you, everyone, for the questions. And I'm sorry if I couldn't answer them. And really thank you all um, for all of the support and, you know, um, on Twitter and all that, talking to me and stuff. I, I do read a lot of the – like, I'd like to say almost everything you guys write. I just don't have time to reply to it all. But just thank you. And um, – I can't wait to share more art with you guys and um, 
this next e this this my first actual solo EP is it's a series of very personal very um songs that are you know really close to me and I'm excited to share them with you and um it's been cool to see that you guys appreciate me as a singer and I really hope that you also appreciate me as an artist and and the things that I personally create um anyways uh yeah so thanks uh thanks for asking me questions and maybe I'll do another one of these maybe after I get back from the tour. Um, I'm going to try to start videotaping more things. Like when we go out on the tour, I'm going to definitely try and do some video blogging with the other um, artists. We're going up to the Oregon Country Fair, which I hear is just like a magical experience. I'm really excited to get out there with a bunch of other really awesome artists. So, um, yeah.